Yes, Scott, just for starters, talk about how he's doing. He went out there and jogged a mile this um, morning. He's traveling really well. It seems like his energy level's good. He's bounced out of the derby real, you know, rel with relative ease and, um, you know, made the ship fine. And just trying to get settled in, get, get our schooling done, and run Saturday. So you had the best horse in the derby. What are the things that have to go right or go wrong to have the kind of outcome that that happened two weeks ago? I mean, I, the only way I can explain it, it just wasn't meant to be. But, you know, I don't think anybody saw those fractions come in the first, you know, three quarters of a mile of the race. The race fell apart a little bit as it should have. And, um, just is what it is. <laughs> If you don't if you don't learn to turn the page in this game, you're gonna be upset a lot. A lot of sleepless nights. I mean how is the derby too big? Or would that not have made a difference? I mean the horse that kind of made it all fall apart. The, the, the der the derby's an event. It's that's it is. It's a twenty horse race. It's a, under circumstances that they will never have to be in ever again. It's just you know one of those things that he did first one to the wire wins like steve always says and it didn't happen well what was the last eighth of a mile like for you watching it that it looked like it, it looked like zandon was not going to get past him and you had to be thinking it's like it's any other race if you have you ever stood beside somebody and said you got this i mean i you never think that in racing if you've run as many horses as we have and you know you have to get to the wire were you like looking and seeing like looking back seeing what was there looking how far the wire is just as you're watching the race are your, are your eyeballs going back and forth back and forth well I was, I was more focused on him and the other horse had you know kind of gotten to a to a duel and I, I really didn't see the other horse coming to be honest with you until i watched the replay but, i mean you guys felt like he ran the right race right i mean you, you i mean talk, talking about the way that the race fell apart but i mean you you were happy with his yeah, position the, absolutely yeah, yeah. The, the horse ran i mean joel gave him you know, a great trip from the three hole. Not a, not a, the easiest position to be in. He was able to save ground and um, tip out at the quarter pole. Ran through the wire. You know, we were probably just a little close to a fast pace, but it's just how it is. I wanted to say, like, if you look at Trackus, I want to say he went the first quarter in 22 and change, um, and then was still around at the end. I mean, even though he was eighth, like you said. It was still an awful fast pace. How well, he was, and, and and gained some position down the backside just to establish position. I mean, um, you know, to be honest with you, it's over. There's no there's no redos. There's one derby a year, and it's, uh, you know, we were proud of our horse and how he ran. Congratulations to the winner. Do you think the – is the eight a pretty ideal place – to start from in, in this race? I mean, I know it doesn't matter as much given the size of the field. No, I, I think that's a good draw for him. What does it mean not having the derby winner here? I mean, are you, were you looking forward to I don't know what it means. It means he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's their horse. I just got to try to worry about ours. And in his races, he'd been on the lead or, in, you know, he was a little bit off in the Louisiana Derby. But for him to come, you know, again, be an eighth, have to get through horses the way he did, showing things maybe he hadn't been asked to do before, he didn't have to do them before. You, you know, what did he get out of the Derby from a uh, development and I mean, standpoint? The, any kind of horse with his ability and talent level, it's – they're going to get something out of it. He was he was a very seasoned horse going into the race. Um, he'd taken dirt in the Louisiana Derby. We just, at the end of the day, it just didn't work out. And like I said, it's time to time to move on. Yeah, I mean, Steve kept saying in Kentucky, he's never given you guys a reason not to be confident in him. And I, I assume that's still the case, right? No, we absolutely love the horse. I mean, he's extremely talented and uh, lucky to have him. But just consistent too, right? It seems like they, week to week he's very consistent. And stuff like. he, he's been very consistent in his training, very workmanlike, shows up, does his job, enjoys his work. Um, you know, that's the great thing about horses like that is the consistency of them. I think we've seen brilliance out of him. I think, the, you know, he could have won the Louisiana Derby by as far as he won it. I think, you know, Joel geared him down a little bit because he was already in front by two and a half, three lengths, but, uh, you know, taking care of the horse. But, you know, I, I think he's definitely showed us signs of brilliance.
I guess I'm thinking more like when he goes to the track, he's just a pro. He just goes and does his job. He's not like, you know. Well, most horses, most horse, good horses will go and do their job, you know. It's, you know, those kind you have to wrestle with. It doesn't usually work out too well. But that's an asset that he just. Yeah, he's just, he's got he's got the physical and the mental, which is what usually makes a great horse.